know and I know everything happens in South Florida. And if you had asked anybody about two dozen years ago if we'd be standing here on ice in sunrise, well, it would have been another chapter of South Florida's dubious history. For decades, this was the only ice you could find in South Florida. But if Jamaica could enter a bobsled team in the Winter Olympics, why couldn't Florida have hockey for all those northerners and Canadian tourists? Aren't we proud of South Florida? Not, there's not a lot of people that are originally from here or born here. We have a lot of transplants, and those people that come from those places, they bring the game of hockey here. Along came the first of several hopeful hockey teams in 1972, but the World Hockey Association's Miami Screaming Eagles never took flight. The Minnesota Fighting Saints never relocated to the Hollywood Sportatorium. The Florida-bound Cleveland Crusaders moved to Minnesota. The San Diego Mariners never became the Florida Breakers or Ice Skaters. Then something strange happened in Orlando in 1989. The New Jersey Devils and the then Minnesota North Stars played an exhibition game. The floodgates seemed to open and the NHL teams were showing up more and more playing meaningless preseason games to sold out crowds. Tampa Bay got their own NHL franchise first and the Lightning played in a barn, a baseball stadium and an arena, eventually winning the Stanley Cup. Not to be outdone, hockey architect Bill Torrey and multimillionaire H. Wayne Izinga created the Panthers franchise for South Florida and success was swift. You were on the first team. You were, forgive me, one of the cast-offs <laughs> of the expansion draft yeah. that was picked up by the Florida Panthers. The first year you missed the playoffs by one point. The second year you missed the playoffs by one point. The third year... Made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah, we grasped the city. It was uh, obscurity. It was new to South Florida. Had a great bunch of guys. We were cast us, but we were grinders and uh, a group that really fell in love with each other as far as teammates and bonding. And I think that's what made that group so special. We cared uh, immensely for each other, and I think the city embraced that. Brought, brought hockey to South Florida. It was fun. Got to the Stanley Cup. We captured the heart of the city there for a brief moment. And just an amazing time with an amazing group of guys and something I'll never forget. The deep freeze has spread with mixed results. Minor pro, college, high school, and pickup hockey leagues have sprung up around the state. Some teams survive, some don't. But ice seems to thrive in the tropics. They had a Jamaican bobsled team in the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. Why not hockey in South Florida? There you go. Why not hockey? It's, uh, like I said, hockey is it's truly a worldwide sport. With another chapter of South Florida's dubious history, I'm Wayne Rooston for the Sun Sentinel.